You guys like seeing me react to certain things, and that's been the case on my channel for quite a while now. Back last year, my channel blew up because I was reacting to Attack on Titan stuff, and it kind of fit the mold of the time because, you know, AOT was really hot back then. Too bad we have to wait till 2016 for an anime follow-up, but... The point is that back then I really gained a lot of traction because I was reacting to things and now that you know fast forward to now present day I do these news videos per se and I know the running joke on my channel is the whole I'm not a news channel thing and I always felt like that was true to an extent even though I am technically doing news videos I understand that but somewhere along the line I think I forgot what it was to do a reaction based video over a news video because if you guys don't know doing news was kind of the thing that I used to do when I first started my channel like I would react to random articles on the web and then I just condensed it down to gaming but I went through a whole lot of phases um, in the middle of those um, in the middle of now and at least when I started my channel because now and when I started I do news but th that's the thing like like I don't feel as if I'm supposed to be doing news as much as it's supposed to be me reacting to it like another human being. I know a lot of you guys, what you like about me is the fact that, you know, I don't know, like I'm able to fucking talk to you niggas as if you're in the room with me. And that's usually the case with how I feel about a lot of these things, even though I don't get feedback for the most part, which is why I really love streaming because, you know, it's like I'm talking to you and then I'm able to hear things back. But I feel as if I put too high of a standard on myself, even though I knew for a fact that I wasn't technically a news channel per se, and I wasn't following the standards of a news channel and, and getting sources like news does, I was just literally reading articles off the web. Along the line, I somewhat forgot that I was reacting to these articles rather than reporting them myself. So I would put all of the expectations of news reporting onto myself and be like, man, I, I fucked up that article, or oh, man, I, I didn't know this information, I didn't know that information, or, you know, when, when really, in reality, it's supposed to be just a fan, somebody who's excited about the stuff like me, reading through the article, and I, I forgot that at some point, I would start my videos, what's going on, guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here, we, today we have an interesting news topic, an interesting news article, blah, 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 and I would... And, you know, I forgot somewhere along the line, wait a minute, this isn't a news reporting video. This is a fucking reaction video, man. And I'm going to be trying to incorporate that more often now. Like, I would look at articles and be like, oh, man, that article is too old. I'm not going to be able to cover that. It's not recent news. But I'm technically not a news channel, right? So I should just react to it anyways. It's not a news video. It's a reaction video, per se. And a lot of you dudes have pointed this out um, before saying, oh man, what Etika does, he's not reporting shit. All he's doing is just reading through it with you guys. It's so stupid, but that's exactly what the point is. <laughs> it's me reading through the article online with you guys. And it makes it more of a, that we're sharing like an article between us and we're like getting excited about it rather than, you know, me formally, hey guys, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Today, on today's news, uh, we have uh, we have somebody got their dick sucked down the alleyway and uh, in the other alleyway, some, you know, something like that. That's not exactly the vibe I was going for when um, doing this thing. So now that I understand that 100% now, I feel like I can finally move forward in a positive way because I know for a fact that, hey man, you know, I don't have to hold those news channel, news reporting, broadcaster expectations onto myself because that's not who I am at the core. I I'm a human being and I'm going to have human being uh, mistakes, human being input, things like that and I feel like that's what I want my channel to be based upon you know the fact that it's not 100% professional even though it, I guess with the camera quality it looks like it could be professional but it's not we just have professional gear with a very unprofessional nigga <laughs> that's basically where I feel like things are going to go from now on so you might see a little bit of a difference when it comes to the format of the videos the layouts the verb um, excuse me the, uh, the the lingo that I use in my videos as well too. Although I do still want you dudes to correct me on my pronunciation. I've been working on that a lot. Uh, thank you for the heads up. But there's definitely gonna be somewhat of a change when it comes to the way I present the news and the way I react to it. Because a lot of people now, since I have a much bigger audience, a lot of you dudes look at me in a condescending way because you're saying, oh well, when it comes to reporting news, Etika sucks. And like I've always said, I'm not a news channel, but I feel like now I have to emphasize the point that, you know, these are more reaction-based videos, you know? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's 
will be better for me too because I would always say to myself, I'm not doing that article, it's way too old. I'm not doing that article, it's not relevant enough. When it's not necessarily about if it's you know, relevant or if it's new or hot or fresh, it's about if the article itself gives me an erection. And if it gives me a semi hard on, I usually, I usually give it like, you know, if it makes my cock 50% erect, then I'll talk about it. But I'm not going to do so in a news reporting format because, I mean, it's not worth talking about it as news. It's just me getting excited about it, reading something that, you know, gives me a thrill. I'm going to bring things back to that root, man. It seems like a lot of you guys stuck around because you like watching me do stuff. And, you know, even if I was doing news or doing porn videos, you would still stick around, I guess. So um, I'm going to try to keep that in my mind. You know, I'm going to focus more on not on me per se, but I'm going to focus more on the idea that this is not necessarily a suit and tie formal news presentation. And it's more of just me getting excited, getting hype about stuff that I find cool and things that I don't find cool, I don't get hyped for. I don't get excited for. We all know, we, we, we all know at the end of the day that this channel, I, I worked hard to get it to where it is right now. And I don't want it to feel as if suddenly I have to, I have, to have the, the burden of keeping things 100% news oriented and whatnot, because I don't feel like that's the case. Um, I'm just going to keep doing me and I'm going to keep Keep in mind that these videos are at the end of the day for fun and I don't have to always be so uptight because I would always be getting stressed out about the shit. But now I understand where I'm coming from. I understand what I am in terms of this channel and the, the approach that I'll be taking when it comes to information that's hot. I treat it like news because usually I do the videos fast sometimes and um, they come out as soon as the article or the topic of discussion comes out. But there's still a reaction. I'm not a news channel. I'm not a fucking news channel. Get that in your head. Thank you guys for listening. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.